What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys my official NBA 2K21 build. So if you guys watch my content in NBA 2K20, you guys know I had a 6 foot 8 small forward, but in this 2K I decided to make a shooting guard just because shooting guard actually does get more playmaking badges than small forward. And on this build I wanted a good amount of playmaking badges. So for the pie chart I decided to go with slasher sharpshooter, but I went with the one with more finishing. And even though it doesn't get shooting hall of fame badges, I feel like it's a lot more well rounded and a better build. Then for the physical profile, I went with the top one just so I can be as fast as possible. Now, getting into the attributes, I maxed out my driving layup and dunk. I didn't touch anything else on finishing. For shooting, I maxed out everything except my free throw, and then I just put two points to the free throw until it gets up to 17 shooting badges. For the playmaking, I maxed out everything except post moves. And then for the defense, I maxed out everything except for steal. And then at the very end, I put the remaining attribute points towards steal until I got eight defensive badges. And then actually, you can do this if you want. You don't have to, but I took one away from the pass accuracy and put it towards steal just because I feel like defense is going to be very important in this game like NBA 2K20. So this is the build that I'm making. For the body type, I decided to go with defined. I feel like defined and built look the best, even though body type doesn't have anything to do with how you play. For the height, I went with six foot seven because if you do go six foot eight, you actually lose a lot more speed. So I decided to stay at six foot seven, stay on the shorter side, even though I'm gonna try to play big man on this build. It won't be easy, but once I get my badges, I feel like it will be possible. Then for the weight, I decided to go with 228 because I wanted to go max weight, but I actually wanted to be as fast as possible. So I just went down until I got 78 speed and that's gonna be at 228 pounds. If you guys wanna use this build in the park and you don't wanna run the big man, I would suggest putting your weight all the way down and then putting it up maybe to gain a couple attributes as long as your speed doesn't drop. So that's what I would do, but I just put it up just so I can guard bigs. And now for the wingspan, if you guys are making this build, you probably wanna just keep the wingspan where it's at so you can get contact dunks at 99 overall. Or if you want contact dunks right away, you can just max it like I did. And I almost went with this wingspan right here where I get contact dunks at 96 and my three pointers are 73 instead of a 71. But I'd rather just take a hit to my three pointer so I can play a lot better defense, especially on big men. So I just went with max wingspan. And a plus is that you get contact dunks right away. I like this build because it's pretty well rounded and at 99 overall I have an 88 driving dunk, a 75 3 and a 76 ball handle which means I can speed boost with some takeovers. Speaking of takeover, let's get into the takeovers that you can get on this build. You can get slasher, playmaker, lockdown, shot creator and you can also get sharpshooter takeover if you lower the wingspan but I didn't want that. I think playmaker takeover is probably the best for me and my playstyle. but for most people I think the best takeover on this build is lockdown, slasher or sharpshooter and once again for sharpshooter you just have to lower the wingspan a little bit. So this build is actually called a well-rounded guard I've never seen this build before I've never seen the name I've never seen anyone with it but I like the title because it basically describes the build it describes the attributes because I can do everything on this build I can get contact dunks I can shoot I can speed boost with takeover and I can play defense Defense on bigs won't be too easy, but I think I'll be able to adjust with eight defensive badges, put some towards moving truck and box, and I think I'll be good on that. So that's going to be it for the video. If you guys want to see some more gameplay on this build, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been King Josh, and I'm out. Peace.